and I guess in that sense it really is one of the staples of Singaporean cuisine, but if you can find yourself a... Well, secret, they'll run in, they do grab that bounty rune, and now a toss back onto the disruptor Moo, trying to get out of there. They don't really have the lift right now, they only have the fade bolt, but at least they will chase him down, they'll cancel his salve off as well, and mid one should eventually be able to find this disruptor. In testing these last hits, he's always copying a lot of damage. Hard. There's the arc burn coming out, and now Brax will make the chase. Puppy trying to keep him alive, but doesn't really have much reach. And in fact, Fear will go ahead and pick up the courier once again from Matumba. Now the Splinter Blast will go ahead and take him out. Brax, he will go down as a trade. Renisha. Yeah, this is really the only way he keeps up. Here, yeah, Avalanche Toss gonna be there straight into the Angry Bear. For the mid lane, as Nisha did pick up the kill on the park. Oh, but puppy. even then, Nine is still top of the last hit board. In fact, top lane, Puppy gonna end up going down on the IO. Matumba is still chasing, but Nine is, ma in fact, B is making his way in. They get the roar off, and with that, Matumba will be going down once again. This Matumba, he's gonna run in. They do have the lift and they do get the stomp off. The Mu will chain away though, but there's the chain being stolen by Zai, but they don't really have a way to lock him down. Matumba will continue chasing, but here comes the rotation. Smooth does a nice kinetic field off, holding two of them in place. And with that, Fear comes in as well with the Splinter Blast and oh, the comes no. back. Matumba has nowhere to go but down, and he does in fact go down. Zai now gonna be chased down as well, and it looks like he's going down as well. It's just. Treat that as an opening as they are going to relocate Zai now back up to the oh. top lane where they are going to chase Brax. So Brax does commit the roar, but Tumba kind of just walked back and now Nine comes in. He'll clean up Zai and it looks like Puppy should also go down. And he definitely does. Brax, he'll find a double on the Beastmaster. He does all in. They do have Mu there as well to help out on the Timber. And there's the Dream Core coming out. You did steal the orb, but it may not help Zai out as he is just still trapped up in this Dream Core. Nice orb away, but it will not lead to anything as Nine does clean him up with his own orb. And now they move into that mid lane where they find the Winter's Curse straight on Tanisha. Then Kinetic Field and Static Storm being thrown out. Do they have the damage output? They certainly do as Puppy oh. also goes down. Now Matumba's been left all alone on that Ursa. He tries to go after Nine on the Puck, but it's a hard time. Target, and now they get the cold embrace as well. Though mid one comes in with the avalanche toss, and Matumba starts cleaning up. Though Mu will eventually find this bear, and now Brax gonna chase mid one down. He has the roar if he wants, but he doesn't need it. It's gonna be a four for two trade going J Storm's way. That mid T1 tower not gonna be lasting very long whatsoever for secret. This is what we talked about from the draft, but like J-Storm, they've got a draft that really needs to force these fights early, and they certainly have. Secret, they can't respond. Slightly careful as Moo is going to make the chase on the Timber. He'll go for the TB, but the Yules are going to be there from Moo, and with that, Brax, do you even commit raw? Like, Zai could be in trouble. He thinks he's going after Brax, but he could be the one that gets taken down as he is in the back trying to get in range, and yeah, he got the Winter's Curse off. That means Puppy is going to end up dying, and now the raw from Brax as well, just to give same time. He has a TP available. Does he commit it quite yet? He probably won't as Zai is orbing in and yeah, they found the Beastmaster. They will be able to shortly oh. take him out. Not quite yet, but mid one will eventually clean him up. Dyer's top tower is under as I say that, Glimpse back on Zai, he could be in trouble. Just trapped in though, nice toss out from mid one. He gets roared up, but they're gonna be happy they saved that Rubik, or did they as fear? He got the Winter's Curse off onto the Rubik. Lose they found it anyway, but the bot lane, the T3 going down and it does go down. Nisha almost taking down fear in the process. Nine gonna come in and try and help out, but there's a relocate straight away from Puppy. And that will allow them to just get out scot-free. Of course, you are going to lose the IO, but who the hell cares about that? You've already found a tier 3 tower for absolutely nothing. Yeah, I mean, the silence didn't hit him right in time. The dream part wasn't there. Zai, chains away, still in trouble, move. J-Storm, they've got a hard decision to make. But as I say that, Moo gets jumped on. Now they relocate. It was all a bit of a paid going on a bot lane. Puppy, he'll come in by himself. He didn't actually bring Nisha, and that's going to allow Moo to get out of there. 
Top wave is being pushed in as well. Moo trying to get the job done on that T3 tower side. Nice lift though, and Matumba Man jumps in for a lucky bash in mid one. Gets a toss off as well. He's so tanky, but they do find the Aegis. Meanwhile, the bot lane, Nisha does find Brax on the Beastmaster. They got Puppy on the IO though. Now, can they find Nisha? Winter's Curse is going to be there, as well as the Glimpse back, as well as the Static Storm and Kinetic Field. It still doesn't seem to be enough as he is strength morphing, though. Nisha, can he get out? He definitely cannot. He does eventually go down. And B, however. Meanwhile, the top lane, Zai, getting Static Storm up. Looks like he should go down, though. Nice toss away from mid one, though. No, it wasn't the nicest. It still got him killed. Nisha, he's the main target. The Dream Core will be there from nine. Do they have the damage output, though? It looks like they should, as Nisha does end up going down they don't manage to find fear as well so oh no oh no, they no. do one more jump <laughs> that was pretty close. wasted a lot of time though of course with the timber saw but he'll eventually get the job done now the necro three units coming in so that does help out quite a bit though it looks like they aren't oh. team fight back never mind they are they go straight after puppy on the io now they jump in moves does end up going down on the disruptor Mid one and Puppy once again looking for a target. Don't lose. Don't leave the cape up. They do find him, however. The avalanche toss isn't going to be oh. enough. In fact, he commits a static storm. Is there going to be follow up? Yeah, dude. He's there straight away on the timber. After that tiny, though, Matumba, he found fear on the wyvern. Meanwhile, mid one still outrunning them, and now they lift up that timber saw move. He may have overextended, and they do burst him down. Massive pickups there from Secret. As it looked like it was going to be pretty bad for them. In fact, they're chasing for more. They found fear on the Wyvern. Nisha is there. Adaptive Strike won't really do enough, but Zai is not giving up on the chase. And fear now has nowhere to go, although he will commit the curse. But with that Ethereal Blade, it is more than enough. Yeah, and this is really the point where J Storm just uh, starts to really taper off. You saw Moon, he just could not get the jump done. Now, nine. Nine. Trying to split push the best he can. Oh. He's still trying to juke and jive his way out of this one. The Tumba, does he find him? He definitely does fight very, very early on. In fact, they found fear on the Wyvern. Nisha, can he just burst him down? Yeah, they certainly should be able to, and yeah, they get it. Now they find the disruptor as well. Moon trying to get up, but he gets stunned up mid chain. Nine is in there trying to help out, but it looks like he just wants to get the hell out of there. And Moo probably just understands he's dead at this point. Dream Core will be committed, but it will not help the cause. They might be able to find a kill if they're lucky. Yeah, they found the lift up to nine. And Avalanche toss mid one. He does clean him up. Again, the Roshan is actually up. It was a very early respawn, so they do go ahead for that instead. It's a safer play. There's no rush for secret here. J Storm, they're not even able to contest this one. You don't have all the heroes up. It's gonna be a quick rush going away of secret and. Just gonna have to die for his uh for his insolence here. And then he will to come down. Puppy has nowhere to go. I suppose they do find a nice little support pick for themselves. Way back into this game. Mid one, actually gonna find a disruptor now. Moon's still surviving though through the avalanche toss. Glimpse back onto mid one, but that kind of helps him out. Still, Glimmer Cape TP should be successful, but there's a sentry warden. No, Zion will be there to lift him up, and he does eventually go down to Nisha on the Morphling. Here's Chris from Fear, so there is still some apprehension to be had here, but it's still gonna be a fairly straightforward push. Nisha actually falling very, very low. The Matumba will take the front lines now. You go after Moon once again on the timber. In fact, he's melting quite quickly, but there's the Cone Brace coming out. Fear waiting for his Winter's Curse opportunity, and now Nine. He'll jump in as well. Nisha falling very low. The Dream Call does come out still, though. Matumba, he continues moving forward. He just doesn't care. He's buying space for his team, and he'll eat the cheese. He'll back the hell out. They glimpse him back though, he's gonna need some help. Oh boy. Kinetic Field will be there, he jumps out of the Matumba, does eventually go down. His team has given up on him. Secret. Did not feel confident enough to continue moving forward. They may have found Zai though, as he cold embraces himself, I believe. And up the top lane, mid one is already there clearing the creep wave, but now Knight jumps in with the dream core. He only found Puppy, but that's an important pickup, and they do find him. The immediate buybacks do come out though. In in from Moo, he spots him out now. Smoke does end up breaking the tumba. How do you get out of this one? Winter's Curse will be there, and I think he is just gonna end up dying. As the rest of Secret huh. aren't really around though. No, he just BKBs away. But there's that Aghanim set, the Dream Core coming up from nine. Still Matumba somehow alive throughout all this. And Puppy now coming in to try and help out. Still, can they take him out? They eventually do. Puppy wasn't able to kill him, keep him healed up long enough. 
secret. Do you really want to keep fighting this mid one? Gets comes back. J Storm thinking about it. Nisha, meanwhile, morphing into the Winter Wyvern mid one, falling very, very low, but Puppy keeping alive throughout all this. And now, well, Moo, he's starting to fall low to Nisha on that morphling. Nine will continue moving forward as the punk. Looks like Nisha is still manning up up against Moo. Zynel, come back in, Fear, he's been left alone on that Wyvern. Still J Storm, not gonna leave any man behind. And still, neither team has really found anybody quite yet. Nisha now cancelling off a TP towards that outpost and Zion still trying to run away on the Rubik. Looks like he will perhaps manage to get away as they don't have the vision. Oh, they want to try and go for a kill on Zion this Rubik. There will be Blink in 9. Once again with the Dream Call start though, Nisha will wait for forward and now mid 1. Avalanche Shots is there on fear. They want that Wyvern gone but the Ruler is there on Nisha. Now Moo just controlling after supports in the back line. Still nobody dying and now Winter's Curse. Two of them in fact. Static Storm, Kernic Field being dropped on oh. Nisha but another Winter's Curse coming up this time from Zion. He'll turn it around on some moves. Nisha, though, falling quite low, but not low enough yet as he is morphing his way to victory. He'll just run out of there, and Puppy will heal him up. In fact, relocate him out. Now Moo being left alone on the timber. In fact, I say that, but Nine thinking about coming back in. Mid one, not giving up on this timber sword kill quite yet. And here comes the Tumber Man. They do end up finding Moo. Secret just dancing around the side of Jay Storm before finding two of their heroes. It still hold this high ground with one well, one well-timed spell use. Yeah, but it looks like they don't have much time. Rax is being attacked by Nation now. Free Roche once more for Secret. And that's, uh, that's gonna be the Aghanims as well onto Zai. Into play, they might get a good pick off on Matumba as well. Winter's Curse to start. I believe he does have help there in mid one. Yeah, he does for the Static Field. Static Storm and Kinetic Field though. Mid one, Avalanche in. Still not helping out enough, but here comes the Cavalry though. The Dream Core is amazing. Still Nisha willing to man up and fight. Looks like they will find one in the form of Matumba, but now Brax loses his life. Still, they're trying to get nine. The Roar was stolen from Zion. They will turn it around. Moon now just trying to get the hell out of there. Fear, what did he, he actually still away? It was a Splinter Blast. Fear will go down on the Wyvern and Zai is not done. He'll continue chasing. Looks like Moo will TP away. Or rather, Moose will TP away. Moo is still trying to fight up and try and turn this one around. In fact, they get the side to buy stuff <laughs> onto Zai now. Mid one trying to run away and looks like he should be successful in doing so. A three for two trade to the Wave Secret. It may not even be over yet as Secret are still hanging around. That'll confirm for Secret exactly where J Storm are. In fact, they do go after Brax now. Nisha just trying to burst down this Beastmaster. He won't quite get there, and there will be a TP away from him. Meanwhile, on the back, it looks like everyone being controlled on the side of J Storm. They're losing heroes quite fast. The Sphere should go down. They've lost moves. But Tumblr did lose his life on the Ursa, though. Now they go after Zai on that Rubik, though. The fourth slab, Zai being thrown around like a ragdoll. Mid one, though. Avalanche toss coming out onto Moo. Still, he will have a cap on his way away. But it won't be that effective as Nisha we're gonna hold him down. Chains. Don't allow him to get out of there. They've changed their mind. They want nine instead. Back Brax now. Gonna TP back in with the roar. Straight onto Puppy who BKB it up. They do manage to find mid one on the tiny, but do they keep going? Nisha, he's not done yet, but the relocate is there from Puppy, and it looks like that will be enough. The bot lane. It looks like they do find Moo on the timber and he has no help around him, which should mean he just dies here, but we'll see if he can drink his way out of this one. He does get lifted up, and it looks like they should have the damage up, but though I say that, he still managed to survive all this. Now chaining away, they've lost Poppy, but it will not matter. Them back, in fact, never mind, they're going for a team fight. They found Fear on the Wyvern. He'll Glimmer Cape up and go on top of the cliff. Meanwhile, Nisha now trying to chase after nine. So go after the Wyvern instead. Fear is the much easier kill. They're way towards that high ground, though, so they're gonna try to force something out. Now Daedalus is there on Nisha. He's got it on the Courier right now. He's gonna be hitting very, very hard on this Morphling. Waveform down to the bot lane where they do go after those exposed rats. The buyback will be there from 9, so now the team fight should start. So Daedalus does come in, but 9. Gets in there, gets the silence off, but it will not bother Nisha as he moves forward. Wave Storm back, Wave Storm's back now, but Brax can't afford to lose his life like this. Static Storm can oh. try to protect this Beastmaster, but it looks like he is going down and does. The buyback is available though, and they've lost mid one on the tiny now. Secret. Where are you headed next? They'll go to the mid racks. Nisha, Lincoln's being broken, he'll get him stopped. 
Sylph there as well, Moon, how long can you hold this? They'll get the silence off on to Morphling and they'll hex him up as well, but Nisha is still surviving. He is low, but he's going to make his way out of here now with Pumpy. They'll heal him up all the way. Push much easier. With us, Roshan, as well as you mentioned, we have that refresh now. So they've got a lot more in their kit. Although... That's fine, Nisha. Hex is going to be there as well as Kinetic Field. Can they hold him down long enough? There's a Static Storm as well. This Morphling moves the Aegis immediately. Now the Winter's Curse. They found Pumpy on the Io. Hold him down as long as possible. Raw will come out on oh. the top of the moon. He misses the chains. They need to help him out now. He can't afford to die like this. Cold Embrace will hold him down at least a little bit. Heal him up. The Tumba being controlled up, but he will enrage. Moon, meanwhile, still looking pretty darn healthy on the Timber, and now the Roar comes out from Brax. They found this Ursa. Do they have the damage? The Hex is there. Puppy trying to get him out of there. The relocating will not be enough. The Yules just in the nick of time, and now Puppy trying to get out of there as well. Moon, though, doesn't want to fight against Nisha. He jumps back in with the Puck Silence. Nisha just going to kite him around as Brax does get lifted up, but Puppy almost getting melted by Moon. Not quite yet, though. The Hex will come out onto Nisha again, but it looks like they may have found the dieback on Brax. He'll try and TP out with the Glimmer Cape. Does he make it? No. He does indeed. They don't have the detection. Still, though, they got the dieback on 9. Up in about 6 seconds, so they've got to watch their spacing here. Otherwise, J-Storm can still hold out a bit. Well, they'll get the melee barracks. One more to go. Moon rules up on the morphing. Now the stack storm connect field once again. They're controlling Nisha up, but he's still surviving quite easily, although he's done a fall low. Pops the BKB. They found Brax on that Beastmaster. Die back on him, and now the Winter's Curse being thrown out onto Moon. Just control up that Timbersaw as they do surround him now. And Moon, well, he gets a cold embrace for his trouble, but it looks like he should be going down here. And here comes Moon one throwing fear in there as well, just to, just for good measure. Ensure that drag is is dead. Mid one has nowhere to go. He will go down. Buyback immediately on him, but it's only him and Moose left. And unfortunately for them, the GG has been called. As mid one now going into the fountain, gets a toss off onto this disruptor. They won't be able to find another pick up. It doesn't matter. A secret will manage to pull off game number one. But I've got to say, John, it was a very